Hi, and welcome to this section of the tutor where we're going to talk about a very, very, very important section in math, and that's called fractions, okay? Fractions can sometimes seem difficult because they don't look exactly like real numbers, okay? And uh, they can seem to be a little bit challenging at first, but I promise you, if you stick with me, I'll teach you what a fraction is. And in this section, we're going to learn what a fraction is, and we're also going to learn how to what we call simplify fractions, and that'll all make sense at the end of this section. And then we'll go in later on, and we'll learn how to add them and subtract them and all that good stuff, okay? But first, let's talk about what is a fraction. It's a very important topic, so let's go, go in and talk about that right away. I'm going to use pi as an example all the time in this class, okay? So I hope you guys like pi, because we're going to talk a lot about, a lot about pies right now. I think everybody knows what three pies would look like, right? Uh, you'd have one pi, two pi, three pi. Th these are circles, and each one of these is a pi, okay? So I think you can visualize in your head what three pies would look like. So just hold that in your head for a second, okay? I think you could also visualize what two pies looks like in your head. That would be two giant pies, right? I love pi myself, and having two pies is even better than having one pie. I think you also would know what one pie looks like, which would just be one circle, okay? But the question is, three pies, two pies, one pie, what happens when you start cutting the pie up, okay? What do you call those pieces of the pie? Because if the pie is one whole giant circle, we call that a pie, and you start cutting into that pie, well, if you start eating some of the pie, then what you have left over isn't going to be a whole pie, right? It's going to be something less than a pie. It's going to be a part of the pie, but it's not going to be a whole pie. And what we're going to say is that um, you're going to have something left over, you know, when you cut out there and you're going to have some pieces, some pieces left over. And what we're going to do is we're going to talk about fractions. You have a fraction of the pie left. You have something less than one, okay? So basically, anytime you have something less than one, you can talk about it in terms of a fraction, because that's what it is. A fraction is used to talk about things when you're talking about less than one of them, okay? So three pies, two pies, one pie. We're going to start cutting the pies up, and then we're going to, going to have less than one pie, and we're going to have a fraction. So let's say we have, this is our whole pie here, okay? This is our whole pie. Actually, let me go ahead and uh, erase this real quick. We'll make it clearer. Here's our whole pie right here. We said this was one pie, okay? Now, let's say for some reason I cut this pie down the middle, like this, okay? And I take this half over here, take this half over here, and I give it to my dog, okay? So my dog eats it. He loves pie, okay? Well, I have some pie left, right? How much pie do I have? I think you can probably realize, or most of you have heard the term half, half of something. If I take this um, pencil and I break it in half, and I cut it right in the middle, right? Well, I've taken this pie and I've cut it down the middle, and so we've taken away half of the pie. And what we have left, we have half of a pie left. Now, how do you write that down? Well, you can say that this is half of a pie, okay? Half of a pie, and that's absolutely true. But in math, you want to write this stuff down in terms of a number, right? So you can also write it down like this. Since it, when, once I first cut the pie, I had two pieces, right? So I'm going to say I had two pieces here. But when I take one pie and I throw it to my dog, how many pieces do I have left? I only have one piece. 